Hey guys, this is Agap Sharinian, aka No Squared, and I haven't really posted any updates lately, so I would just like to do a quick presentation. Now, what I've been doing is computer algebra. So previously, the grapher could um, create an image of any sort of equation or expression, inequality, and so on, but it couldn't manipulate those expressions. For example, it cannot simplify an expression or expand or factor maybe solve an equation or derive or integrate and so on so that's what I've been working on and let me just show you a quick example so for example let's type in y equals sine of x maybe plus cosine of x uh, maybe cosine of x divided by 4 maybe cosine of x squared divided by 4 maybe sine of x squared okay that looks pretty good and as you can see, uh, the display over here is now rendered with a much uh, more natural typeface. So instead of just text as you see in the window here, it's actually displayed the way you would write it on paper. So fractions and powers and such. Anyways, let's say we want to take the derivative of this curve. So we're just going to copy that. We're just going to type in derive and paste. And here's our derivative. So we're just going to copy our derivative and just do another y equals. And here we go. So now we're just going to go into relations and maybe change the color a bit just so we know what's going on. And let's center the grid and make our original curve a bit thicker. Okay, here we go. So now what you're going to see is we have our original curve in thick blue and we have our derivative as computed by the program itself in uh, thin orange. Uh, once again you'll notice that everything is neatly displayed. Um, fractions we have here and uh, nested fractions, nested parentheses and so on. So every time we have a critical point, meaning derivative of zero, and in this case we don't have any undefined derivatives, but um, derivative of zero, the derivative is, is going to cross the x-axis because that makes it equal to zero. So for example here we have derivative of zero, here, derivative of 0, derivative of 0, and so on. Now, we can even go further and just take this expression and derive that, and then keep going, keep going forever, because um, sine and cosine derive into expressions that also contain sine and cosine. Um, other than that, you could also integrate expressions. Um, that certainly needs more work, because integration is definitely more involved and not as straightforward as d uh, differentiation. Um, you can also solve equations, uh, solve limits, um, do Taylor series expansion, um, expansion, factoring, and so on. Anyway, I just wanted to do a quick little video. I hope you enjoyed it, and stay tuned.